everyone, Darkwater back in Airport CEO, and one of the things you're going to notice right off is I did a little work off camera, uh, reworked the baggage claim area, mainly because it was off center and it was really starting to bother me. So I ended up moving the whole unit over, so it's kind of centered here, off the the main doorway here. So it's a little bit better in my head. Um, I'm also thinking about adding in a restaurant. So this space might be a little bit large for a restaurant though. Um, and I also did want to do the self check-in down here. So I may end up putting a restaurant kind of up here on the lower level and then additional baggage claim and then going up to the second floor for security and then accessing all the additional terminals. Um, but for the time being, I am going to do a little work over on this side and see if I can't get the large uh, pads operational. So let's go ahead and add in some terminal foundation. Just going to do it right along here. And we're going to take this all the way across like that. And let's go ahead and take this straight up as well. I had a weird glitch with my contractors at the end of the last one. Yeah, so I did end up sending them all home. Uh, for whatever reason, everybody got stuck right here. But it looks like I was able to take care of that at the end of the last one. So we should get our construction workers back, being able to build all this. So we'll let that run for just a minute. And hopefully our contractors will show back up here in just a minute. Um, one of the other things I think I'm going to do is... Because I'm going to do a small security over here just to access this portion of the, the terminal. So... I'm going to go ahead and add in a stairwell over here also. Um, we'll go ahead and just... Maybe we'll do an escalator. So... I think we're going to do an escalator over here. And do a security just kind of at the top here. And allowing people to cross down on the second level to go all the way across over here. I'm not going to worry about what's going on in the terminal on the first floor. We're just going to go ahead and expand on the second floor. So I tested it out earlier and I should be able to bridge across right here with the second floor terminal flooring. So that's all this is in. Do have some issues with people being in here, but it's going to be fun to deal with in a second. We're going to go ahead and put this in, second floor in here, and ooh, that allowed me to do it before. Let's take this section out for a second, and. Yes, there we go. We'll take that all the way across. Let's drop down a level. And are people still stuck in there? No, it looks like they did find their way out. All right, so they're finishing up work there. Um, Probably can't. Oh, I can't add this in now. Um, there we go. Accidentally hit the wrong button, changed the view. Um, trying to figure out what it's, exactly which direction this is going to go. I think I'm going to do one. And 
we'll do two. And then we will do an elevator in the middle for right now. And just gonna do a quick wall around it. Once this is built, I'll take out that section again so we don't have people stuck in here. So they are starting to work over here. Um, in order to open up the larger runway, we are going to need some vehicles to handle that. So let's go ahead and take a look at buying new vehicles. We do have the gas trucks, so we should be good to go there. I don't think I've purchased them yet. Um, let's turn all that off. Uh, catering trucks, cabin cleaning trucks, all the pushback trucks, but we don't have the larger ones. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and we do need the Larger pushback truck. Just gonna do one. Um, and we do also need a larger belt loader. Cleaning trucks, everything else, I think we should be good for right now. So we'll get those going and those in here in just a little bit. Uh, looks like they're still putting in. Uh, the escalator's in. The elevator looks like it's ready to be up and operational. Just need a floor for them to go to. So we'll let this continue to build. I'm going to take this. I'm going to upgrade it. Is that upgrade or no? No, okay. It dropped down here. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the jetway. You can kind of see it right here. And I'm going to do that on a couple of these. Just so we're not running on a single stand be able to have a couple different planes sitting here. This will also allow us to at least have a little bit more money coming in. So while that's building, um, let's go ahead and take a look here. And maybe we will see if we can add in a restaurant. It's gonna have to be zoned. Just kind of eyeballing to see how large some of the stuff is. So, cash register, okay. Gonna need counters, display fridge, We've got snacks and sandwiches, we got coffee machines, and ooh. You could have a beer tap. Uh, gonna need a cooking station, sink, stove, and a fridge. So this actually might be a decent size. So let's go ahead and add in a little bit of walls here and here. And I'm just going to take it up about there. I think I'm going to take it to there. Let's remove this section of wall. I think I'm going to close off the sides. 
again, we'll see exactly how big this is going to end up turning out to be. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave the carpet as it is. Go ahead and zone this for a shop. And let's start at the back. I need a freezer. Can't tell which direction it goes. I'm assuming that this way. Yeah, it's gonna be significantly larger than I'm thinking in my head here. Uh, let's go ahead and do a freezer. Do a Stainless steel counter. Here. And we will do a sink. On the dark, it's difficult to see specifically what direction that this stuff is lining up. Uh, I think I'm going to do another one. We will do another stainless steel counter. We will do a another fridge on this end. We're gonna do a cooking station. Actually, I'm probably gonna do two of them. One here. One here. Okay. Here, um, go ahead and do stove here, stove here. Do you just have a generic counter piece? No. Um, go ahead and take a piece of wall, a wall right here. Register one here, here. Uh, what else do we have? Do a display into the counter, and we'll do a snacks at the other. So that'll take care of that. So go ahead and add in another wall. I'm just going to do a wall right here. And that way we can do some tables and stuff down here. Um, let's go ahead and go through couple display fridges do mm. the display fridges at the bottom here ah, food counter that's what I wanted to do. So go ahead and add in the food counter and Looks to be it. Let's go ahead and go back into terminal. Do we have tables and chairs? Let's see. Oh, we have tables and chairs somewhere. Seating, tables. Oh, I don't really want the benches. We'll do square tables, I think. So we'll do one. Do one over on this corner. Do two here and two here. Let's go ahead and add in some chairs. That would some square chairs. One, two, three, four. One, 
the side as well. Got our chairs in there. Yeah, there's a lot more space in here than I was thinking, so let's do modular sofas. Maybe we will do a modular sofa over here. One here. One down here. Here. Now let's go ahead and add in some tables down here in the corner. Here. And again, I'll probably just end up filling the bulk of this in with just tables and chairs. Okay, it did put everything in. Again, with that dark blue color, it was very difficult to see what I had where. Um, And again, this will give additional seating for people to, to come in and hang out while they're waiting for their luggage or waiting for their uh, their plane to come in. So let's go ahead and do some tables and chairs here. Actually, uh, I. if there was a way to I feel there's a way to just copy paste paint not sure if that worked there was a way to do it. Let's go through and start adding in tables and chairs. leave this space open I think and I'm probably gonna do another couple maybe another fridge down here at the bottom display fridge two all right so now that we've got that I'm pretty sure we need a contract for this have that research yet? I thought we did. Yes, we do. Okay. Ah, there we go. 
So we can do the Hilltop Cafe. We would need another cooking station for that one. I'm okay with what we've got. Swift Veg. Sushi Place. Let's just go with the Burger Place, I think. Yeah, we'll go with the Burger Place. So we've got staff on their way in. And we will be able to start to feed people. Um, where are we at on the second floor? All right. We are making progress up here. Need a piece of wall there. Let's go ahead and bulldoze here. And bulldoze over here as well. Bulldoze all of this. And bulldoze all of this wall as well. Uh, we're going to need uh, some boarding desks. Let's go ahead and do some medium desks. Need to zone this properly first. Actually, let's go ahead and get our security checkpoints. Um, it's a bit larger than I thought it was going to be. I've got a feeling that that's going to be a bit much right now, just because I don't have the space necessarily for it. Plus, we're going to be moving the security and everything to another so let's just go ahead and go with the small ones for the time being one two and three i'll take out that little bit of wall take out this and I'm going to need a your exit as well put it on that side let's go ahead and add in a wall here and wall here. Uh, once that gets removed, we'll be able to add in our third security terminal, small terminal here. There we go. So we'll get that taken care of. Let's go ahead and add in our desks since we do now have a secure area. So boarding desks, uh, let's do medium since we are going to be trying to process a bunch of people through here so we'll put it there and there I think I ended up sliding it over one each time, didn't I? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, do you want to take a little piece of wall right there? Just try and force people to go in a direction so we don't have a bunch of kind of a traffic jam. that. Hmm, not sure why that's having issues. Um, the game did update, so there might be some issues with that. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll do this real quick. to have to edit this back into a secure zone. And this little strip wall that we took out. 
Everything else looks good. Go ahead and add in plenty of seating. time here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to do that manually just because <laughs> that just that secure zone is just sitting in a bad place. I am going to need to connect this up so that we can get go ahead and run it. I don't know when it paused. Uh, I do want to extend out this service road. I'm going to do asphalt for the time being. I, I can always go back and upgrade everything at a later time. that build out. Uh, it's operational, just don't have any staff for it. That's fine. Can I? No. I was hoping I'd be able to do a rear exit. Apparently you can't, so go ahead and bulldoze the elevator for the time being. Add in a little bit of wall that never got put in. I go put a plant right here for whenever we open it up, which I might do very, very shortly. Go ahead and open that wall. I'm going to need more security staff so we're gonna need a couple more security so let's hire some more one two three why did that not filter by security there we go one two i'm going to need more passenger service agents one two let's go ahead and get those guys uh, i need some more ramp agents Passenger service agents. Let's go ahead and get. Oof. Pick up a couple more janitors while we're here. There we go. So we will have some new security agents. I'm assuming these guys will figure it out. 
going up to the second floor. We've got a couple security guards already here. Um, we might be good to go to uh, start to open everything up. I don't have baggage connected, so let's go ahead and connect them to here. Again, I'm going to probably do another baggage down here just to make things a little bit easier and a little faster both to get their baggage and to get baggage off the planes. So these stands should be good to go. So we go ahead and open up the runway and see what we have. Now we should have some contracts already that have the Large planes already attached. So we should be good to go. We do have people in here in the restaurant eating. Quick screenshot of that for you guys. Um, got plenty of security coming through over here as well. So let's take a look at our flight planner. Um, Wednesday, Thursday. So it does look like we do have some large flights coming in. Now it does label those as international. Which may cause some problems here in a second. Uh, don't need medium. Commercial, large aircraft. That may complicate things with these being set to international, but I think we will see. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that here. It looks like this episode is running a little bit long. But I'll go ahead and leave this here, and I look forward to seeing what happens with these large flights. Uh, we were able to get our first eatery in, so people will be able to uh, eat. Makes things a little bit happier here. We've got we're up to 36%, which is always good. And it's slowly ticking upwards. Uh, but thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Again. Like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you guys again in Airport CEO. Hope you guys have a fantastic day.